What is going on guys and welcome to another video today I just want to talk to you guys about the better villagers add-on slash command that I'm making uh, so it's command block creation that uh, I added a lumberjack that chops down the trees from the volume one the first one uh, as I was creating this and I created a farmer and a miner here uh, now the farmer have five farmers within the village here uh, they will search any kind of uh, pig entity and teleport it to the pig if it's within a certain radius of that farmer so uh, they will al always be teleported to this spawn which will allow me to create a butcher which will then get the meat and everything so the way that I want this to work is when you create a pin and you have a gate and you throw a piece of wheat on top of the gate it will place a armor stand on top of a stone brick uh, valued at five so then it will then be able to test for where the pigs and stuff can go to uh, when they're near the villagers. Now, that's that. Uh, now, I got to create uh, some chests inside of one of the houses that the villagers can place down and all the meat and all the farm animals and uh, their drops. And, of course, when the miner mines, the same thing will happen. Uh, they'll place the chest. All the materials go there. Same with the lumberjack. Uh, I'm creating these, but I wanted to ask you guys what do you think I should add how do you think I should add these what are you guys opinion because this is not just something I'm going to build but this is something that I'm going to take your suggestions and I'm going to add it into the video now this is a pretty short video I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this is more of a question kind of video but I'll go ahead and show you some of the commands so basically this is how you would detect the wheat on the fence and then it will summon the armor stand here uh, and then when that happens it kill the wheat uh, the same thing with the pickaxe over here uh, when you throw a uh, stone and on uh, when you find a stone wherever you want the mine so if I want the mine to be here I'll place the stone and then get a pickaxe and when you throw a iron pickaxe on top and throw it down it will create a miner and they will start mining in that facility uh, and that's how you create a mine that's where the villagers do all that stuff and then the materials will go back to the village uh, which you as a player will be able to gather uh, so that's how that works it will uh, do all of that it'll summon the armor stand just like everything that needs the hopper the chest everything will be here uh, and then it does the uh, makes the armor stands invisible it will execute and uh, do for the minor villager it'll do a fill command which is basically destroying uh creating a mining effect but that is that is pretty much it and this is the uh one that will um, teleport uh like say a pig here uh to the armor stand that's detected it's stone brick uh that's how that stuff works uh but yeah if you guys have any suggestions you have any kind of certain villagers that i think i should you should add like maybe a fisherman uh, of course i need to add a butcher um I need to add a more advanced blacksmith, a more advanced uh, crop farmer. Now, the farmer farmer is for the animals, uh, but there's going to be two different kinds of farmers. Uh, would it, but anything, anything that you guys think should be added to this creation. Uh, so this is not more of a tutorial. It's more of a question video. Sorry about that. Uh, if you guys are wondering about the factions, though, I will be having the factions as soon as my Minecraft gets out of beta on my Xbox so I can actually upload it uh, and get the world ready for you guys. But I will be actually down having a Volume 3 download for my factions. My factions, the one you last played on, will be having a download out coming out pretty soon. So if you guys did enjoy the video, if you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!